All right, what's up, y'all? This is Uncle P from Super Easy Forex, and I'm going to do a short video for you on this particular trade that I'm taking. Uh, let's see how this thing work out. Earlier today, you had the feds come out with the interest rate news, and I told everybody, wait until after the market has settled itself down. You can see all the spiky candles that took place. Uh, it was a really rocky day uh, in the markets because of that. Um, but what happened was I used my scanner, my scanner here, has sent me an alert now what happens is that after the next candle or two comes it will actually disappear so that every time you get an alert you know that it's fresh so i had gotten an alert on a 30 minute chart saying that there was a buy opportunity so what i did was um i took this trade and we'll see how it goes um because on the daily and here's one of the things you some of you guys got to do i know the candles look big but if you go right here, hold down on your left mouse and pull it tight, see, now it makes sense. It's just waving, waving, waving. Okay, so now this doesn't look so bad as it did when the screen was really, really big. See that? So I pull it down sometimes, trying to shrink it just to see if it makes sense. Next, I want to go, and you see that it says I'm down five or six pips, but realistically, see, this is the spread, the broker spread, which is charging me about four pips. So realistically, I'm only down two pips right now, and it's just wiggling around. Next, the only other thing that convinced me to take this trade is because on the daily, what direction is the daily? Even if you didn't have the arrow, we're trading with the daily trend. Many of you guys like trend trading. This is an excellent, excellent set of tools to use for trading with the trend. As you can see, the trend is your friend. So if I take a look at it from the perspective of the trend, okay, you can clearly see that it looks like it has bounced right off of the trend right here. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Did a pullback, tap dance, next candle is rebounding and it should thrust forward. All right, and if we pull it tight and kind of shrink the screen, you can kind of see that this looks like it wants to continue in its upward trajectory. Even if you don't have the arrow on the daily, that's okay. Well, as I teach in class, you just want to go with the direction of the trend. So if I was to say, hey, there's no arrow here, what is the direction of the trend? If you just had to guess without even looking, what would you say? Would you say it's an uptrend or a downtrend? Yes, you're correct. It's an uptrend. See, it's trending up. So all I want to do is take arrows in the same direction as the trend. The trend is my friend. And I'm taking this one off of the 30 minute time frame. As you can see, here's my trend line that I drew off the daily. And you can see where price action bounced right here. And it looks like it want to recover and may move forward. If not, that's okay. That's what the stop loss is for. Mentioning that, why do I have my stop loss where I placed it? I placed it below these lower these lower moves right here. Now I could put it below these as well, but I chose these right here, which would give me about a 60 pips or so. Um, so we'll see. That's plenty enough room to see how I tap dance out. Okay. So this is where you use the simplicity system to actually trade with the trend, not against it, but with the trend. And therefore, all you do is you go to the daily, identify what direction of the trend, and then you take the signals that correlates with that particular direction and you go from there. Uh, for an example, if I was taking trades here, at this point, this was a what? Downtrend. So you can clearly see it was a downtrend. No arrow, no nothing, but you can still see it was a downtrend. What was this one? Was this a downtrend or an uptrend? Correct. See, even at a glance, you can see just by slapping on the trend line, you can see it's, a, it's an uptrend. And you don't even need a trend line for this. You can eyeball that and see, hey, it was a downtrend. This was an uptrend. This was a down, this was an up, this was a pullback, but then this was an uptrend here. Here's another uptrend. See? So you just going with the flow of the rhythm. Not fighting the funk, you know, just going with the flow. That's the direction it wants to go. Cool. Okay? So let's spot an example. Okay? And this is a strategy my son actually came up with that many in the group are benefiting from. So, uh, you know, and been using it for a very long time to pull and pluck profits out of the market. Uh, sometimes I also use this to send signals out. Not always, because I got other strategies. I don't share them all on here. But sometimes this is where I get some of my signals from. So if you're not in the signals group and you're struggling, uh, you know, you might want to consider. You might want to consider. Because now you can kind of see how this is making sense. Okay? See that downtrend? Clear downtrend. Okay? 
So let's take a look at anywhere here in this downtrending area, okay? We already see what an uptrend looked like. Now let's see what the downtrend if you have an opportunity. Uh, we call it the D1 or the D30, which means you check in the trend on the daily and you're dropping down to a lower time frame like the one hour or the 30 minute to for entry. So let's just go to the one hour for an example. Well, let's do the 30. We're already on the dirty 30. Uh, so let's take a look. So let's scroll back, kind of see where the trend is. We can pick it was from what date uh, that would be from July 5th until uh, right about here, which would have been May uh, July 8, uh, July, August, August 25th. All right, so let's see if we find an arrow in that time frame. All right, and so I'm going to uncheck this box so we can scroll back a little bit in time and find some, and let me shrink these candles so they're not so big as well. Okay, so here's an example. See this trend? Was this within that time window of the, no, we got to go back further, even though that one was a nice one. All right, here we go. So Here's where we kind of framed it out. Look at there. Bing, bing. You see that? Let's see if it fits within the date. And that will be, uh, yep, August 18th. So you see that during that downtrend, it was a huge downtrend on the daily. Let me mark this so we can kind of find it. I'm going to make a big box right there. And let's go back to that daily. Right there. You see right there? See on the daily, it was a downtrend. Okay, it was a downtrend, see, trending down, pulled back, but then went right back into that downtrend. And therefore, this is what you caught if you were on that time frame that we had talked about. See, trading with the trend using the system. It ain't hard to do, boo. <laughs> All right, let me shrink this so you guys can see how long this run took place. Look at that long run. Wow, massive, massive, massive profits massive and if you took it from there to there that was 357 pips wow all right this is a buy so yes it would it was a nice play but uh is that what we're looking for no we're only looking for what sales here's your trend line see that let's mark up this one and look at where it touched literally against my trend line off the daily let's see if we can find that one okay the second yellow box that i put Let's increase this here. Right there. See? And we played it to the downside. Then that one where I said yes, it went back up. That's the one that played to the upside on that uh, 30 minute. And then that's where we got in. You see the next one here where it played back to the downside. So you can see all this and 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 just play play the game as the river is flowing. You know? Just go with the go with the flow. You ain't got to fight the phone. Just go with the flow. Okay. So that sell trade, the first one, what we looked at, definite winner. Winner. This is that pullback that we saw on the daily that led into that big move back to the downside. But here was another one. See, just constantly going down. Just going with the flow. Here's a pullback into it, and then the drop. Here's the drop. Here's another. See, touching the trend line right there. You see it. See it right there. There's a third one. How many pips? That one, you could have rolled it down for 135, just going to flow. Then you have your pullbacks, right? So I can do this all day. See this one? This one was ugly, but did it work? Yep. It did a pullback, but then there you go. Where was your stop would have been? Somewhere up here anyway, out of the way, you know. And don't be afraid to use a little juicy, you know, like me. I would have put it right about there because that matches that high right there. So I, I don't have a problem with using a little bit looser stop loss because you're playing on higher time frames. And you don't want to get stopped out on silly pullbacks, okay? And that's what this one did. It pulled back, but then dropped. And from here to here, that was another, what, 90 pips? Okay, so that's 90 right there. From here to here, 136. Okay, let's take a look. From here to here, um, to its low, but you could have took it to the arrow. That's 140 pips right there, okay? Some people play it from arrow to arrow, which is fine. You can do that as well if you want. But make sure it long, like I said, what's my rule? Once you're at about 40, 50 pips, start scaling out and taking profits. Look at this masculine one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 306 pips on the downside. Why? Because you were just trading with the trend using the simplicity system. Now, to the upside. Oh, look. Oh, we're in profit. Look at there. Praise God. And as we speak, as we speak. 
as we speak. Look at there. See? Bouncing off. It's bouncing off that trend. What direction is the trend now? Up. So why did I take the trade? Now you clearly see why. Because if I shrink this down, I can see how smooth this thing can play. See? Just shrinking it down so it don't, the candles don't scare me. It bounced off of the support line right here. Arrow came in for a buy. And it looks like it's on its way. And that's how I played that trade. Okay, so again, this is just one of the many strategies we use in the signal service. So if you're a part of the signal service uh, or want to be a part of the signal service, come on and join us. Uh, super easy forex, uh, dot com forward slash signal dash service. The link is on our website. But if not, you can see how uh, this is one of the strategies you can play with if you purchase the Simplicity system and learn how to do it as well. Either way it goes, we're here to help you be profitable. Um, so I hope you like this video and uh, have a good day. All right, here's an update on that trade. As you can see, it's moving along very nicely. So what I'm going to do is move my stop loss up right underneath it just to give it some. Uh, we can put it right there. So no matter what happens, it's a winning trade. Uh, when to lose on my break even so just want to show you there's the update too easy says it was buy arrow sale was up 30 pips everything looks good so that's a wrap